Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about some single mom romances. I feel like we get a lot of single dad romances and rec videos, but I feel like single moms are really slept on. I love single mom romances, so here are 10 romances with amazing single mothers. The first one that I have is Juniper Hill by Devney Perry. This is the second book in this Eden series, in the Eden series. Um, I haven't read book number one because my friend Victoria said it was fine to just read this one by itself, so I did. Our heroine in here is leaving her life in the city to come to the small town and get a job as a housekeeper at the Eloise Inn and she's bringing along her, I think three month old baby, I think. He's very young and he has colic. She actually gets set up in the apartment above our hero's garage to stay in with her baby. And he cries like all night long. He has horrible colic. And one night the hero just has enough of it, knocks on her door and is like, give me the baby. Like maybe he just needs another pair of arms to be in. I'm gonna help him fall asleep, which is very much a surprise for a heroine because she is very used to this man being very grumpy. He is the cook chef at the inn and he's always been kind of like grumpy and stoic towards her um but she'll take all the help she can get and he does get her baby to calm down so um i really love our heroine here she's a great mother and i think it really shines a light on how like taking care of babies is not easy it is not easy whatsoever especially when you're a single mom single dad single parent. One that I read earlier this year was I Think He Knows by Katie Bailey. I read this one for a video where I read books inspired by Taylor Swift lyrics, so I read this one. Um, our heroine ends up getting pregnant when she's in high school by some crappy guy um, who cheated on her. So this book takes place years later um, where the night when she found out she was pregnant, um, this guy, our hero, actually ended up helping her through it and they became best friends and they've actually been pining for each other ever since and they have no idea, um, but he's a famous actor. I think a famous actor? Yeah, a famous actor, and he's famous in some way. I think it's an actor. And something happens to where they have to fake date, and then their feelings are revealed after that. Our heroine's kid at that point, I think is 10 years old, and she's really wanting a dad. She has this daddy-daughter, like I think like camp that she wants to go to, but she doesn't have a dad to go with her, and so the hero kind of gets roped into that too. Um, because he's fake dating her mom. <laughs> but I just thought this was a really sweet romance. So if you want a um, no spice romance, this is one you should pick up. Strong and Steady by Vanessa Vale is another single mom romance, but the kid is uh, like 18, he's in college. So I still consider a single mom because she's a single mom and her kid does take a part in this book. These two characters end up meeting one day and sparks fly instantly. Our hero is a professional MMA fighter, but he's also a cowboy. So it's a cowboy and then he's an MMA fighter. Um, anyway, he ends up really becoming completely smitten with our heroine who is a single mom, um, whose son ended up just going off to college and some extenuating circumstances like some outside forces are also kind of forcing them together because of some dangerous things going on and they're having to like lean on each other. But definitely the fact that she's a single mom like plays into her like mind of like, oh, should I be doing this? Oh, should I be getting into this relationship? And it does play a factor in everything. I have some historicals for you. Devil's Daughter by Lisa Klippis is one of my favorite ones. At the beginning of the story, we meet our heroine who is a widow and she has, I think two sons. One is a little older and one's I think three or two years old. The heroine and the hero end up meeting at a wedding of all places and he finds her very attractive and intriguing and goes up to her to introduce himself. And when she figures out who this man is, she instantly becomes cold and kind of mean. And he's like, what did I do? Turns out our hero was her deceased husband's bully at boarding school. <laughs> and he's like, oh crap. <laughs> oh no. And he's like, he's immediately like I was a turd I was a turd back then I am so sorry like I've definitely grown but I understand if you hate me like I kind of did make your husband's life miserable <laughs> so um yeah but definitely the heroine had more of a friendship relationship with her previous husband like they grew up together um he was very sickly growing up and she knew that he would never find a wife other than herself and so she's like I'll marry you you're a very close friend of mine and you'll always be kind to me um, so he ended up dying early, earlier in life than she anticipated because of his illness. Um, but she has two beautiful children out of it. Um, and I just love our heroine and she's an amazing mom. Another amazing mom in a historical romance is Nobody's Duke by Scarlett Scott. We have another heroine, Ara, who um, recently lost her husband. 
Her son is a few years old and her husband was recently killed by some not great men. Um, and there's this society called the League of Dukes in England that are tasked to try and find these evil men. They're part of a specific group. They task our hero, who's a part of the group, to become Ara's bodyguard until they track down these men because they think that they're gonna attack her as well because they killed her husband. But what this group of men do not know is that Ara and our hero have history. They have a past. They actually grew up in the estates right next to each other where their families were rivals. They hated each other, but they would sneak off into the woods together to be together, um, to just like get to know one another more. Um, and they ended up falling in love and then they plan on running away together. But then something happens to where they are not able to and they think the other person betrayed them all these years ago. They haven't seen each other since, they hate each other, but there are some things going on where they just need to sit down and talk about what happened and maybe they'd realize, oh, other things are going on. We're going on at that point, so. But I do love this one. The single mom aspect is very interesting. Like the kid aspect, I won't spoil you for this, but it's, it's a great read. We're getting into some alien romances. Mama and the Alien Warrior is next. This one is by Honey Phillips. It's the first book in her series. I think it's like full of single mom, like um just like romances with kids in them too because this book starts out with our heroine who runs this um house for girls who have been kicked out of the house at a young age when they're teens because they found out they're pregnant or they had a baby and their parents like kicked them out of the house and there's nowhere else to go she kind of has this house for them to stay in anyway everyone in the house all the babies, all the kids, all the pregnant ladies end up getting teleported and kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> um so our heroine and her child end up getting taken. And then also when they get beamed up into this room in this spaceship, there's another baby, an alien baby that the heroine ends up adopting as her own because no one else is taking care of this baby. Anyway, our hero ends up rescuing her and all these women on the spaceship from these evil aliens. Um, they're just trying to commandeer the ship and they end up across these women and they're like, oh my gosh, let me save you. And then the hero quickly realizes that this woman who runs the house is his fated mate. And he is full on ready to be a dad to the alien baby, to like the heroine's like child. Like she is all in. But he promised the hero when we first met her, like I will take you and your girls home. Like I promise. But it's getting really hard for him to keep this promise because he's like in love with her at this point. So um, I think each of the books is about like one of those women who was kidnapped and their romance with one of these alien creatures. Another alien one is Drakkar by Honey Phillip. This is book number four in her Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. I love this one. This is like my second favorite, I think. Um, so in this series, you have this planet where everyone is. Um, it's kind of like an ice planet. There is a human village full of humans. And then a few miles away is a ranch that a few aliens like live at and they're all like brother in arms. They all went to war together. They all consider themselves brothers. One of these brothers ends up going to the human village and just kidnapping a bunch of human women and bringing them to his brothers during a snowstorm as brides. Cause he thinks like, oh, that's how they find brides. That's how, that's how, that's how you do it, right? He doesn't know any better. <laughs> and so during a snowstorm, this hero here, um, Drakkar actually goes with the other brother who kidnapped all these women, goes with him to the village and ends up sending his fated mate and it's our heroine, but things go a little bit awry when he goes into her house to kidnap her from her very abusive relationship with the baby daddy, okay? Um, he goes to take her and realizes there's a baby in here. I need to take the baby too. Like, I can't leave this baby alone. At first he doesn't know if that's her baby or what, but he's like, I cannot leave this baby alone in this house. Um, and so he takes her and the baby with him to his cave and he's like flying, he has wings. And so she can't escape this cave because it's on the side of a cliff because he flew in there. And so she's scared at first. He quickly shows her like he is there for her and the baby and will do everything for them. Like, oh, he's so sweet. Another alien one, The Alien Nanny for Christmas by Amanda Milo. This might say Christmas, but it has nothing to do with Christmas. This book has nothing to do with Christmas. Um, I think like the last scene in the book, the epilogue takes place during Christmas time. None, none of the other time in the book is there Christmas, nothing. I don't know why the title has anything to do with Christmas, but. So a heroine in here, she's a single mom to two boys, I'm pretty sure. And um, she keeps being late for work because like the daycare center opens at a specific time that she takes her son to. Um, and it has her like be late for work and her boss threatens her like if you're late one more time like I'm firing you and I don't really care if you have kids or not like I don't really care like you're gonna be fired if you're not here on time and so she is like totally stressed out really anxious about this and then she goes outside one day and finds an alien on her doorstep <laughs> and it's her hero 
And he's like, oh my gosh, you're the most stunning creature I've ever seen. I wanna help you in any way that I can. And so it, she kind of lets it slip like, oh, I might lose my job because I can't take, like, take my son to the daycare center on time and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, I'll take care of your babies. I'll take care of your kids. And so he comes the nanny to these human boys, specifically the baby because the older one goes to school. Um, but it's really cute. These are really cute reads. Amanda Milo knows how to write like cute romances with absolutely obsessed heroes. Next is Sunday's Child by Grace Draven. I can't really talk about this book all that much. It's really short, it's a novella, but I don't really wanna spoil it. <laughs> Our hero is kind of like this elf fairy creature and he helps Saint Nicholas, okay? And he ends up meeting our heroine, I think her name's Clara, throughout the years of her being a child and growing up. And once she's like older, he ends up like falling in love with her if I'm not mistaken. And then she's also a single mom at that point. So I don't wanna spoil anything, but it's a, it's a great, quick little read. And the last one that I have is a hot Christmas one. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm just talking about Christmas ones, a few of them in here. Um, This is The Naughty List by Ellie Mae McGregor. Our heroine is kind of sad during Christmas time because her ex ended up taking the kids for Christmas. So she's alone on Christmas. But then guess who comes down the chimney but a hot Santa Claus to help fulfill her every fantasy. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's a fun, quick read. If you wanna put it on your Christmas TBR, go right on ahead. Anyway, so you have it with some single mom romances. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me um, the pink flower emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.